All right, guys, so Meat Pops is a Funko Pop store. That's pretty much all they sell. They have some, like, like cool socks and stuff, too. But they specialize in Funko Pops. If you guys need Funkos, check them out. Uh, tell them Sarge sent you. Really cool place. But uh, we went in there, and I was talking to the owners and um, asked them if they sold toys and things of that nature. And they, they had a couple things on the shelf, like some of the Funko um, figures. But they said they had tried. I guess people had brought in collections or they bought some stuff at some point. And it just wasn't selling. I know there's some crossover between Funko Pop and action figure collectors. But when you're going to a place that's specific to Funko Pops, uh, maybe they just didn't have the clientele coming in there. Or maybe people just didn't know that they sold toys as well. But regardless, we ended up uh, talking. like, say, I got a bunch of Funko Pops. You guys have a bunch of toys. Do you want to try to make a trade? So that's what we did. We ended up trading. I traded them, um, was it, three totes of Funko Pops for uh, about four, four, four totes of toys and some cash. Um, but I will show you what we traded for, and um, we'll check it out. But anyways, guys, if you're looking for Funko Pops exclusively, they have a really cool selection. It's on uh, Van Dyke just south of 22 miles. So it's about... What, about two miles north of, of our location so check them out tell them sarge sent you and uh, we're going to go back and we're going to go through these toys i'll show you what we picked up all right i'm coming i'm coming hold on i have to turn the camera on it's on the tripod hold your horses pause your ponies we are here so um we got three giant totes of toys they're not really giant they're uh by yay big and a box of toys like i said uh, we traded a bunch of funko pops to a local funko pop shop that uh, had a bunch of toys that they just didn't even put on the shelf because their customers, client base, were there for Funkos. I said, hey, maybe we can work a deal, and we did, and um, here we have it. I will show you what we ended up getting for the Funko Pops and the cash that they gave us, and uh, yeah, let's check it out. You dig, you dig the hat, right? I love the hat. I've been wearing this thing everywhere. People give me the strangest looks. I almost got kicked out of a Wendy's, but it was worth it. Mickey D's, come on, it's, it's, it's a cheeseburger, it's a Big Mac, what not, oh, Big Mac, yeah, Big Mac, okay, I was going to say Whopper. All right, let me get this camera flipped around so you can see the toys. All right, so let's see those toys. Um, we're going to go through this box first on the top, which is a couple big, big Marvel Select figures from Diamond Select. They're pretty cool, the boxes are a little bit of a, a little bit of a wear to them, or a little bit of, I don't know, just a, just a little beat there. But we have uh, Thor here, Chris Helmsworth from uh, The Mighty Thor. Or, well, the Mighty Avenger. So he's pretty neat. He's, he's big. He's got to be, I mean, what, he's eight inches, I guess? And then we have Deadpool. Everybody's favorite Merc with a mouth. Another Marvel Select. Um, same same issue here. Just kind of, I guess they just had these in totes. I don't know if this is from the Pops place. The way they stored them was probably how they came in. They said when people would come in uh, with toys and... They were buying when they first opened up, but then they realized that they really didn't have that client base, so um, they didn't really do the toys. Ooh, let's zoom out a little bit so we can see this better. So we got Wolvie here, old Wolverine, unmasked. Pretty cool. I like Funkos. They're okay. I like these better. I like action figures better than I like Funko Pops, so for me, it was a no-brainer. Um, we kind of talked, you know, being at local business, local businesses, you know, we kind of have to us first the world with all the other giant companies but um you know if i get a pop collection that comes in it's not really something i'm interested in i'm gonna send them down the road to them and uh if they get toys they said they'd send them down to me which you know it works out you gotta work with people to be successful sometimes or you know you don't necessarily have to but it never hurts so we went through there so i went to lowe's today because i've been having a bunch of people like driving and trespassing on the, in the parking lot on the shop now that it's, it's black topped and um, people are just driving through there. My cameras go off and all that stuff. So I was like, you know what? I got to put up a, a chain because people are going through and it's really hot. The asphalt's still soft. Tears it up. Long story short, um, I don't want my parking lot destroyed by uh, people trespassing right now because it's just, you know, they're going in there. They're getting mad that they can't cut through. I think they're trying to cut through. Um, and then they just basically do a donut whip out of there. And it's it's not good on the brand new asphalt. So I went to to Lowe's today and got a chain and some reflectors and stuff and put that all up. We got a little, uh, the Incredibles here, put that up. So it's funny though, I'm in Lowe's and I'm waiting in line and these three teenagers walk up and we're walking at the same time. They just happen to get to the register before me and they don't have anything in their hands. And the clerk's like, can I help you? And they're like, oh, we're waiting on our mom. So I'm sitting there waiting thinking, okay, well, you know, mom's not here yet. So maybe ring me up. And, um, no, they waited about a minute and then mom comes up with this, uh, one of those, uh, laser, measuring tools and she goes can you open this for me to the, the clerk and i'm standing in line 
I'm like, oh God, can't you go to customer service? She's like, I just don't want to break a nail. I'm like, really, lady? So we end up sitting there. In, I'm in line waiting, and it's just like the only line. And this lady's sitting there trying to open this plastic. And if you guys have opened those things before, any of those expensive tools, you can't just rip them open. You need a, a blade. And then she had to call for someone with a knife to come over and cut it open. It was crazy. Um, so we have Cyborg here. But I don't know. I just thought that was kind of kind of rude of that lady to do. And I think the clerk should have probably sent her to customer service, especially since there's a line forming behind her. So we got a Cyborg there. He's cool. Flashpoint. And we have this uh, Black Lantern, Hal Jordan. Pretty neat. Hopefully you guys have been doing well. I know it's been a bit since I've done a video. Um, hasn't really been too much going on at the shop that was really worth doing any videos on, honestly. Um, the electricians came back in and they're almost finished. They're just getting that knocked up. Knocked, knocked, jeez. They ain't getting it knocked up. They're getting it knocked out. Um, and then the HVAC guy's finished. I'm waiting on the inspector to come back out and get that done. Um, once that inspection is done, I'm going to insulate and um, I got the, the front windows are ordered. Those will be coming soon. So if you drive by and you see all the plywood, um, it's because I'm waiting on the new windows. So we got Wonder Woman there from Flashpoint. So that's what's going on at the shop. Um, just little stuff. I'm waiting on a roof. I need to get a flat roof guy out here. And it's just been like pulling teeth to get people to come out between summer vacation, I guess. And um, everyone being backlogged from the old uh, shutdowns. Yeah, the Arkham City Batman there. I think these are cool. They're, they're neat. I mean, again, like I said, nothing wrong with Pops. But I prefer the action figures. So we got the uh, infected Batman. Oh, that's weird. So we got the... Uh... Ah! That is not open, and that came loose. This is going to be like one of those puzzles you have to shake and try to get it in there. So that's going to be fun. I will be spending some time trying to do that, I suppose. This is cool. So we got this Play Arts Joker. It's kind of like a black and white uh, looking figure. That's pretty neat. I'm going to try to dim this light above me because that's really giving us bad reflection. All right, well, I don't think that helped very much. Unfortunately, we have a, a lot of lighting in this room. and If I turn it off, you can't see anything. But some of this stuff's going to have a little glare, guys. Sorry. So we have a... Uh, who's that? That's, black, that's not Black Widow. Who is that? Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I guess. It says Red Skull. Oh, Mockingbird. Okay. I should have known. Should have known it was someone I didn't know. But that's, uh... It says it's a Red Skull Build-A-Figure. In that one. And then we have Red Hood. That is the most bizarre-looking character ever. One of the. Pretty cool figure. Nonetheless. Then we have some more Batman. Um, Arkham City. That's pretty cool, this Catwoman. I don't know if you got, I'm trying to like turn it so you guys can see it without that glare, but that plastic in the uh, glare is not doing us any favors. What else do we have here? Game of Thrones again. I have never seen Game of Thrones. I know, I know. Everyone keeps telling me I gotta watch it, and I will eventually, but right now I have so much going on. I don't have time to watch TV. Actually, that's a lie. When I'm listing like stuff online and doing like the magic card sorting, I've been watching Z Nation um, on Netflix, I guess it is. And I've basically binge watched them on the last season right now. It's actually not too bad. It's kind of goofy. It's not like as serious as um, The Walking Dead, but it's not bad. We got the White Walker. I've come across a couple of these, and these are actually made by Funko, which is kind of ironic considering I traded a bunch of Funko Pops for them. And then we have the Trinity War, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Never been as big into DC. Um, I've always liked Marvel better. I know as a kid, I would pretty much only buy Marvel comics. And I get some DC, like Superman, Batman, stuff like that. But some of the more obscure DC characters, I just don't follow. Let me get this stuff packed up. We'll go through the next tote. All right, so next tote. We have, you know, we've been making progress. I got the sign-on order for the shop. Um... So they're making that right now, so hopefully we'll have the sign done. But again, I'm waiting on that roof. So if you guys are in the metro Detroit area and uh, do flat roofing and are interested in making some money, hit me up. Because I need to get that done before I get my sign up because I have to put the parapet wall up. A lot of stuff waiting on that. Um, as you guys saw, we got all that drywall and everything, but I can't put that up because the that front roof leaks. And if I put that up now, it'll just destroy everything. Another Legends. What if this is yeah, this must be the entire run for this uh, red skull figure. 
Is there a picture of him? Yeah, it's like Red Skull and some armor. I don't know what variant of Red Skull that is, so if you know, let me know. I don't, did not have not read any comics in quite some time, so it's Taskmaster. Then we have this guy. Who is that? Not sure it says. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is Forces of Evil. Okay. Oh, Whirlwind. I wish I'd just put it on the front. This is Captain America, Forces of Evil. It doesn't say Whirlwind. How am I supposed to know it's Whirlwind? It says Red Skull up here. If you send mom or dad to the store to go, hey, go get me a Whirlwind action figure, guys. And you go there and they just you gotta look on the back and try to find it. And it's like got 15 different languages on it. Holy moly. It says right there. That's the only spot on there I see it. It's kind of goofy looking. But um, let's see what do we have next here. Wolverine. Another Marvel Select. It's the classic uh, uniform model. Looks like we have a little bit of a bent uh, claw. I guess that adamantium is uh, not as strong as they say it is. We have another Batman Arkham City here. These are really cool, really detailed figures. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I can't even do it. I can't get my voice deep enough. I'm Batman. Nope. So we got some Final Fantasy characters. Final Fantasy, I remember playing this when I was a kid. Um, Final Fantasy 1, it was for the original Nintendo. I mean, shoo. I liked, I liked Final Fantasy. I haven't played any of the online ones. I'm not big on the online gaming. Um, with the White Hell Jordan. White Lantern, rather. Not really big into the online gaming. I just kind of want to go, and if I'm going, I don't want to talk to anybody. I'd rather just deal with NCPs, and, uh, or NPCs, rather, and uh, do my thing. But never really got into it. I never got into the last Fallout, either, because it was just online. Got the... Blue Lantern with the Flash. I'm not sure what that storyline is. Why there's a... The Flash is a Green Lantern or a Blue Lantern. And then we have... Arkham Origins. These are cool looking figures right here. Batman, the Joker, Black Mask, and Deathstroke. Pretty... It's got some weight to it. Those are some, uh, some hefty figures in there. That's that for this box. And we have, what, that's two totes we went through, right? Yeah, we went through one, two in the box. So, yeah, we got one more tote to go through. I'm going to get this pack back up, and then we'll go through the last tote. So we have a couple more Final Fantasy figures. These are pretty neat. They have the interchangeable hands and everything. Uh, Final Fantasy, really fun game. I used to love the role-playing games growing up. Um, the other one we always play that I remember probably the, the most is playing Dragon Warrior. And it's probably not really the gameplay or anything that... Reminded me the most of this game, or it makes me think about this game the most. It's, it's the fact that my dad, and dad, I know you're watching this. I, I'm sure you are. And if you're not, you should be. My dad was the first one to beat Dragon Warrior. So we, he, okay. Dad, earmuffs. All right, guys, my dad sucked at video games when I was a kid. He's, he's all right at the sports games, but the rest of the stuff he was no good at. He always lose, and, you know, um, you know, kids are better at video games, right? So uh, he won at Dragon Warrior before all the kids, and he just would, like, he would never let us live it down. Like, to this day, it's been like 30-something years, and Dad, if we're playing video games or talking about video games, he always brings it up. So, yes, Dad, congratulations. You beat Dragon Warrior before the rest of us. Love ya. All right, guys, uh, let's go out with some of these figures here. We got Captain America with a uh, wolf head. So this is a figure that I'm not really familiar with the storyline that uh, Captain America would have a wolf head. I don't know if he turned into a werewolf at some point or if he was just dressed up as a wolf for Halloween. I don't know. I'm assuming he was a, probably a, some kind of werewolf Captain America. But, again, I haven't read any comics in quite some time um, to catch up on a lot of these new storylines. And then we have Batman. It's pretty neat. Flashpoint. And then we have the Flash from Flashpoint. I like that they're not even toys. They're collector action figures. You know what that means. That means that uh, they can charge you more. They call it a collectible. As long as it's not a limited edition numbered collectible, then we're good to go. Because that's when whoo, prices go crazy. Just kidding. Um, we have the Superman versus General Zod Movie Masters. The box is a little busted up here. Um, it doesn't have a picture of what it looks like on the inside. You know, we'll save that for the end and we'll open that up and we'll take a peek. Because I should have probably opened that up and looked at it before I bought it. But I didn't. If that's full of nothing but like pogs or something silly like that or like styrofoam peanuts, we're going to have some problems. All right, next up, we have this uh, limited edition exclusive. I'm not going to say the name of the store because it's not my competition. 
But uh, no, Big Bad Toy Store had this uh, exclusive. These figures are actually, they actually go for a pretty penny. Um, Maybe one day, guys, what do you think? You think one day Hasbro will go, hey, we want to do a Sergeant Red's exclusive figure? Probably not, but I do have some. I just noticed you can see my feet. New Balance. Anyway, wow, I got off topic there. Ooh, squirrel. So we have Slaughter's Marauders here. These are really cool, cool figures. Then, next up, we have another uh, BBTS exclusive, which is the uh, Dreadnoughts, Knox. Really neat figures again. I love these little sets. These are cooler than the Classifieds, guys. Sorry. Classifieds are cool, but I like those uh, three and three quarter figures. And last but not least, dropping my tote. And by the way, these totes are awesome because they stack and interlock with giant Legos. Um, we have this uh, new 52 superheroes versus supervillains. So we got Aquaman, Flash, Batman, Catwoman, Joker, uh, Captain Cold, and Black Manta. So really cool, cool figures. Again, that has a little bit of weight to it. So those are probably a little bit, uh, those are a little sturdy, I think. Little little sturdy figures. There. So let's open up this uh, Superman versus Zod and see what we have in here. And if it is full of rotten banana peels, that will be no bueno, no good. And we will be going back to Me Pops and having a little chat. But they're, uh, they seem like good folks, so I doubt it. All right, yeah, it looks like we have a... Uh, normally I have the, the, the flap that opens up with a little Velcro, but no such luck here. All right, so here we go. Ooh, look, they have a price tag on it, $70. Well, that's what it goes for. I have no idea. It's a cool-looking figure, though, so it's from the movie, obviously, The Man of Steel. You got the figures in there. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool. So I dig it. So guys, out of all this stuff that you just saw, what do you like the best? What is your favorite figure out of this entire collection that I just showed you? So the Final Fantasy stuff? Do you like the DC, the Marvel, G.I. Joe? I'd probably say out of all this stuff, I like those Joes the best. Um, the Marvel Legends. And don't forget, we did have the um, Incredibles, which this is probably my kid's favorite. All right, guys, thing. so there you have it. Yes, I'm crooked. I just flipped the camera around. Everyone wanted to see the, the Big Mac attack hat again. This thing's awesome. I, I wear this. I wear it everywhere. Anyways, guys, we've been getting some stuff done at the shop. Um, I'll do a walkthrough here probably in the near future. Maybe I'll just do a live and we'll walk through and you know, answer any questions anybody has. But um, got the sign order. That's on the way. We got the front windows and the, the front doors and all that stuff. Like the storefronts on the way. We have the material that's going under there on the way. So a lot of stuff's moving pieces. Again, um, we're waiting on that flat roof. If you guys are in the Metro Detroit area, and you know a flat roof installer company that wants to make some money, I'll give them a shout out on here. Um, we need to get that flat roof done that's holding up so much stuff right now. So anyways, guys, I will catch you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm going to go eat some McDonald's. I don't know. I'll catch you guys later.